Water. Water. I need some water for my car. Hmm. Guess I'm hoofing it to town. But what will I bring the water back in? Aha! from the land. A genie! I must now grant you three wishes. woo But I reserve the right to change modifier determine the nature, content, and quality of said wishes. Your sign here, initial here, stamp here, fill in the blank, carry the two, 6.7 APR. I'll sign whatever you want. Whoa! And now my first wish is for some water to get me and my baby back on the road. Then I'll think about what else I want, genie. Hmm, this simple glass of water is not good enough for my master's car. Hey, what's the big idea? Hmm, <laughs> what I am thinking is my master's water should be fresh. It should be the freshest water in the world. From a Swedish fjord. Maybe V. That does it. You're the worst genie I've ever met. I wish I was the genie. I'd show you how it was done. Oh man, I wasted my wish. But hey, this place has everything I could have wished for. And you know, some guys can't pull off the hair and pants look. <laughs> Okie dokie, Woodpecker. Fine. Now I get three wishes, yeah? Sounds like a lot of work to me, buddy. Get lost. Give me that. My wishes. I read the lamp. I want my wishes. It's all about you, isn't it? All right. I'll give you anything your heart desires. <laughs> I wish to be a new me. You mean a makeover? Yeah. I want a new head of hair, a washboard stomach, and, and I want to be reigning king of Sweden. Your wish is my command. A new head of hair. <laughs> a washboard stomach. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're the reigning king of Sweden. Find my magic lamp. Eureka! Ooh. Oh, not again! What? Another wish? Yeah, I wish for mm, a three-story house. Oh, joy! My own three-story house. A dream come true. Yeah. And I'll give you a personal tour. This is the first story. Goldilocks. Check out these comfortable chairs. No, too stuffy. No, too 
looking for me. <laughs> what do you know? Just right. How about some porridge? No, too hot. Too cold. Poison. Having fun yet? Yeah! Liar! Now listen up, Pinocchio. The only thing for little wooden boys to worry about in the real world is woodpeckers. Yeah! <laughs> and here's your third story. Not by the hair on your chinny chin chin. Oh no. Ah, now back to some relax. Hey, where'd my mansion in a lamp go? Oh, Woodpecker. Hey, give me that. I believe it's time for my third wish. And I wish to be the Yeeny again. Now I get a wish, see? And I wish I was the Yeeny again. No! I want to be the Yeeny. No, I'm the Genie. No, I'm the Yeeny. No, me. Me, 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 his pirate ship, the Black Mariah, is now at anchor off the old harbor. What brave man among us will capture him and claim ye reward? I'll get rid of him. Oh, that's a brave lad. If you get rid of him, this bag of gold is yours.
Judgeship, she's a nutcase. I tell you, it's him, Your Honor, with his peck pecking and order in my court. This is the third time this month you two have been in for disturbing the peace and destroying city property. I'm ordering you both into therapy until you learn to get along. What? I am Dr. Von Brain. Welcome to my clinic. <sighs> Is this gonna take long, Doc? The hockey playoffs are on TV and... Some of us want to hear what the good doctor has to say about how crazy you are! Now, first, look at these cards. If you say, for instance, tree, good. Broccoli, maybe. Cow riding a bicycle, <laughs> you're cuckoo. Oh, 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 I know, I know, I know! A woodpecker getting flushed down the john! A woodpecker flattened by a steamroller! A dinosaur eating a woodpecker! But I got a copy of these from my den. You're nuts and you're going down, Mimi. I must consult my medical journal, Mr. Woodpecker. I'll be back. What are you up to, Woodpecker? Help, Doc! She's attacking me! Mimi! Ah! Stop! <laughs> ah! Help me, Doc! What is the meaning of this, Mr. Woodpecker? <laughs> you had two doors. Who knew? Oh! I also have two patients who need deep, deep therapy. <laughs> Secondly, we will have you do the art therapy. You are to create an artistic expression of how you feel. When you are done, ring this bell. I will look at your artwork and then fully understand what is going on inside your little brains. Ha! It'd take a whole museum full of art to understand your brain, woodpecker. Ah, my two inner feelings are just straining to be let free. Ah, oh, what do you know? It's the inner me. I wondered where I left it. Responsible for this. He is. You two simply cannot be left alone together. There is only one solution: aversion therapy. 
These helmets monitor everything you're feeling. Woody, go ahead and pinch Miss Minnie. Yes, sir. I'm gonna love this therapy. Good, good, good. You see, the helmet sensed your hostility and told a hidden nozzle to spritz you. Ha! Served you right, Woodpecker! Oh. You see, the helmets will keep sending you reminders whenever you aren't getting along, okay? <laughs> I now leave you to be cured. What are you so happy about? I have self-discipline, Woodpecker. Nothing you can do can get me riled up. Oh, what's your problem, you raggedy rent gouger? Hmm. This must be what gets the signal from the helmets. Now, when I feel like clobbering Mimi, I won't get it. She will. <laughs> hey, Woodpecker, what's that funny-looking thing on your neck? Oh, it's your head! Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 that does it, you screwy walking feather bed! <laughs> Man, this sure isn't working like I wanted. Aha! So the woodpecker's trying to liven things up, is he? All righty. This is for drying your laundry in my microwave. This is for selling my bagpipes without telling me, you penny pinching, cactus loving, loony excuse for a landlady. Well, this is for buying it back and serenading me at 2 a.m. Well, I think they should be cured by now. <laughs> My clinic! Oh, no! Woodpecker, you look like a drowned rat. Crazy Woodpecker! Crazy Woodpecker's crazy landlady! Look what you did with your crazy woodpecker landlady kind of fighting! I don't... I... Mommy. <laughs> well, I guess there's one thing we can agree on, Mimi. That doctor and his therapies are crazy! Legend has it that King Tut's court jester, Easy What's Up With That, stole a fortune from Tut and hid it in his own booby trap tomb, which has been lost for centuries. It's said to hold a laughing curse that will reduce anyone who tries to take the treasure <gasps> into a giggling fool. <laughs> Egypt is so fascinating. Oh, if I were an archaeologist, I'll bet I could find that lost tomb and become world famous. Oh, my last quarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found the hieroglyphic stone that will point the way to the hidden tomb and all its treasure. Now, when is the expert coming to help me with the translation? What are you doing? What kind of expert are you? I have spent five long years of painful digging here. Five years? No wonder. Look at the tools you've been using. And look, how do you expect to pick up all this sand? <laughs> You've got this vacuum on reverse. Vacuums are for cleaning. Oh, 
my. How did you find it so quickly? Oh, I just knew where to dig. Ooh, look, Professor. Is he the court jester? Yeah, is he? I asked you first, who is he? No, is he? That's what I'm asking you. Is he the court jester? He's the court jester. Is he? Yeah, is he? What's up with that? Exactly! Is he what's up with that? Yeepers. Mm, I don't have time for this. I must explore the tomb. Ooh, exploration of a tomb. This is my expedition. I lead the way, and what I find is all mine. Okay? Okay. Professor, be careful. It's common knowledge that pyramids are booby-trapped. And don't forget about the laughing curse. <laughs> Booby traps. Curses. <laughs> a bunch of tourist trash. Professor? Professor? Professor, is everything all right? Oh, how exciting! A chance to decipher real hieroglyphics. Hmm, from ancient times on, every picture has told a story. Yeah, like where the treasure is. A court jester would know all kinds of jokes. Let's see. Uh, why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? <laughs> wow, that really is the oldest joke in the world. <laughs> Hmm, she's the expert. The treasure must be that way. Or maybe the treasure is this way. Or maybe it goes up. Enough with the navel level. Mayday! Mayday! My expedition has been cursed by Haveco! Send help! Now! Hmm... No... Wait a minute... Push for treasure! Oh my! If there's treasure, it must be in there! and I found all this. First day? No, no. This is my life's work. My archaeological goal. The treasure of Easy What's Up With That is mine! <laughs> Pies in the face, punchy punchy gloves, piranhas, suction darts, and a mummy. Why did the chicken cross the road? To find my discovery! <laughs> yep, you're right to call this in. The guy is a wacko. <laughs> no, no, uh, she's the wacko. <laughs> she's the one. Can't you tell? <laughs> he must have caught the laughing curse. I tried to warn him. Mr. Algernon Wolf, you are about to be sent to your doom for your malicious and deliberate attempt to take the lives of those three innocent little pigs. And now, 
Before we drop you out of the picture, have you anything to say? Have I got anything to say? I'll say I have. I've been framed. I've been sabotaged by those three fugitives from a football factory. Them's the guys what should be hung, not me. And furthermore... <coughs> My friends, look at me. Do I look like a killer? You, you said, said it, brother. They say I huffed and puffed and blew their house down. Why, they huffed and puffed and blew my house down. My friends, I'll tell you what really happened. I'm living quietly in my little rose-covered cottage at the edge of town, making a meager but honest living as a music teacher. Then one day, as I was busy crocheting a new bathtub, there came a knock at the door. I sprang from my chair and hastened across the room. Anything I can do for you boys? Yeah, we want you to loan us to play music. Excellent, excellent. Shall we begin now? Shoot the tune to us, goon. Ready? One, two, three, four. Come, come, that will never do. Now let's try it once more. Ready? One, two, three, four. My friends, is the absolute truth. Get those three pigs! Whew. 
boy, did I talk myself out of that one. <laughs> and it don't saps fall for it. <laughs> and what a bunch of... Help! Help! Get me out of here! It's the family curse of the Hickapookters. <laughs> no! Phew. It almost destroyed my best Swedish meatball trophy. <laughs> my grandmama says the only cure is to stand on your head and drink a glass of Valner. Whoa! Oh, let me help or I'll never get any sleep. Now, let's get you into those boots. Hey, this is gonna work. Then we'll both get some sleep. Trust me. Okay, I trust... Oh, Ferd! <laughs> <laughs> Get off of me, you... <laughs> ah! Wait a second. Aunt Fern used to cure her hiccups by holding her breath. Hey, Wally, buddy, I know how to stop your heekin' duper poopers. <laughs> no way, Woodpecker. Your antidotes are too dangerous. <laughs> I'll cure myself. Hmm. Eh, uh, you couldn't cure a ham, Wally. <laughs> Hold your breath. Hold it. My Aunt Fern swears by this remedy. <laughs> That's it, Wally. Hold it right there. Hey, Wally, say, Wally, what time you got, Wally? Well, it's a quarter to... Skunk! Hold this and your breath. <laughs> Hold it, Wally. It. I promise you don't want to whip this stuff. Uh, it uh, worked, didn't it? Uh, I broke the curse of the uh, Hinkle Hoop of Watch McClellan's. Hoop? Oh, that does it. Stay away from me, Woodpecker. You're a curse. <laughs> you, you're worse than any Hickapookters. Okay, fine. I know when I'm not appreciated. Good night! <laughs> what? It's gonna take! Boo. Ah, oh, Ferd. Boo. Oh, Ferd. So, he wants to scare the hiccups away, hmm? Well, then I'm just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> oh, it's no use. Oh, the end is near. Oh, at least I still have you, my pride and shining joy. <laughs> Scaring him doesn't work. Holding his breath doesn't work. Drinking water upside down doesn't... Wait a minute. These heekin' poopers are so bad, 
Maybe I gotta do all three cures at once. Uh, ah, Woodpecker, no! It is the only thing I got left. The sun's coming up, Wally. Neither of us has slept a wink. I'll let her drop if you don't stop the hiccups! No! Records, and I hear someone has a record breaking case of the Hikapoopters. That'd be him. Well, if they are truly record breakers, I'd like to present the lucky victim with this check for one million dollars. A million dollars? Why, sure. He's got the super duper Hikapooper thingies. <laughs> I'm his agent, and I'll need a cut of that cash when he. You get nothing for Decker! I give you a world record, Hikapukta. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> okay. Guess I'll go see about that guy on Maple Street who can whistle with his toes. Wait. Yeah, please. Wait. No, wait. I can do this. Just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Well, at least now I can finally get some shut eye. <sighs> finally. Sleep. Hika! The Hika Oh no! Appreciation Day. Remember food lovers, souffles are fragile little things. They need a calm, quiet environment, or they could collapse. Woo! <laughs> I know. I'll throw a bagpipe Appreciation Day party. The likes of which the Scottish has never seen. What pecker? I heard that! Your lease specifically says no parties. They're noisy, and I'm trying to bake a souffle, which requires quiet! No parties! Now, how can I have a party with a pooper like Nini around? Sometimes, if you want to beat them, you gotta join them. Inspector Decibel, noise police. Noise police? We're affiliated with the CIA, the FBI, the EIEIO, and all other abbreviated government agencies. Hmm, the government. That's right, ma'am. Shh, you'll tip the woodpecker. We got a major file on this dirty bird. <laughs> I'm going to need your help to silence this noisemaker once and for all. Well, I'll do anything it takes, Inspector. I'll watch him like a hawk. Catch him in the act. Then I'll grill him like a steak. I like your spunk. Maybe when this is over, you and me. Oh, it's Inspector. Stay in here and keep Woody on round-the-clock watch. Do not leave your post no matter what you see, ma'am. And then report everything back to me tomorrow. Is that clear? Affirmative, Inspector! <laughs> Party time! <laughs> oh, surveillance is a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. Party Central? Book me your all-termite band and deliver the biggest party tank you got. Party Central. Two, three, four! You don't understand me, you think that I'm a freak. And when I stand up for myself, you say that I'm a D.O. Great. 
Did you bring the tent? About. That treehouse you're renting me has termites. Rare musical termites. You don't understand me. You think that I'm a freak. And when I stand up for myself, you say that I'm a dude. And tenting the house to get rid of the termites cost me $500. Two, three, four. Maybe you should go away for the day until the termites are taken care of. You don't understand Are called termites? Ha! <laughs> There's something fishy going on, and I'll get to the bottom of it. That woman's like a bad rash. She just keeps coming back. Whoa! Oh, Inspector! Am I glad to see you? We need to get inside that tent. Good thinking. Come on. <laughs> Follow this stream. Hang a left on Willow. Make a U-turn on third, turn right on first, and come right up inside that woodpecker's elevator shaft. Got it? Good. Go. Aye, aye, sir! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, you and put the topper to this. Already, I will. Meanie's coming. I say, no more beating around the bush to catch this woodpecker, Ms. Meanie. You mean? Yep, we're going in loud and we're going in proud. But Inspector Decibel. I don't know how to parachute! There's only two rules. Do this. Don't do this. Got it? Good. I'll have you down the chimney before you can say Merry Christmas. <laughs> I've got you now, Woodpecker! Hands on that little party animal!
world-renowned commercial fisherman, Smedley Hook'em and Keep'em, the Salmon King. And I'm just about to reel in another big one. <laughs> well, I'll be. I ain't never seen a fish like you before. What are you, some kind of hairy? A pike? A halibut? Hold on one lure fleckin' minute. You ain't no fishy. You're a penguin. A self-respecting commercial fisherman always tosses back the little ones. Time for this angler to get back to the cannery with the catch of the day. know what you're thinking. A world-renowned fisherman and a pilot, too? Yup. I'm what you might call a renaissance man. <laughs> it's kind of drafty up here in the wild blue yonder. Huh? Drafty and noisy. I'll just switch on the autopilot whilst I go have a little look-see. a non-penguin flight, so I'm sending you back home. Airmail delivery lock. Huh? Hmm. Thought I had this baby flying perfectly level-like. 
Now I know I've heard that sound before. Huh? Persistent little penguin. Goodbye. A hard-working commercial fisherman needs nourishment to sustain his strength. I swear, it's getting so a man can't even have a moment's peace to enjoy the fruits of his labors. And stay out, you freeloading fish napper! like rewarding yourself for a job well done, I always say. <laughs> Will I be a Marlin's mama? I never knew penguins could fly. <laughs> yep, that boy is positively starting to fry my flounder. <laughs> Stay down this time, you little salmon swiper! Ten. Nine. Huh? Okay. One and lift off. You know, a skilled pilot sure would be lost without his trusty map. I better employ my old fashioned plane splitter. Okay, you little seafood snatcher, the jig is up. You come back here and take what's coming to you, you tuxedo wearing varmint. That's funny. It almost feels like I'm running downhill. Holy mackerel! I plumb forgot to turn on the autopilot! Uh-oh. I pulled the wrong lever. My precious cargo! I lost my precious cargo and nearly lost my plane. This is all your fault, penguin. Ah! I am gonna bait and hook you when we get down from here, boy. What the? Hey, come back here, you little deserter. 